All right. Welcome to the next in our training reflections, training vlogs. Uh, it's on the day, just my, so today was a, a heavy kind of weightlifting day, 90% plus. Um, I know Fitz has recorded his own training vlogs. He's got some new goals for training. And they are not weightlifting related, more strength and fitness kind of related. So I won't say what they are. Let him talk about it because I know he's he's recorded his own vlog and he'll hopefully upload that soon. Uh, today for me was just a heavy singles. I usually go for 90% plus approximately every two weeks and it's actually in jerk on the same day. Um, so today was, I kind of knew going in today that it wasn't going to be the best. The day before I'd been a bit of a, a donkey, kind of the asshole athlete mentality. So I did some no foot snatches the day before. But before the no foot snatches, I did some close grip snatches, which I haven't done in ages. And I did like six or seven sets. And then I did a max no foot snatch. Um, It was just pretty dumb, I'm not going to lie. And my shoulders were feeling it today. They were very inflamed on the snatches. So anyway, I think it's uh, it, there's, there's definitely benefit from going heavy, even when you've planned to. Even if you know you're not going to hit something amazing. So my goal in my head was just to get above 140 in the snatch, even though I've doubled 140 a couple of times in the last few weeks. I still wanted to just get past 140. So I ended up doing 142 and a half. Here it is now. Um, It kind of crashed a little bit on my shoulders and my shoulders and wrist jarred heavily. And I was like, that was entirely my own fault. I am incredibly responsible for that action from the day before. So I left at 142 and a half. Moved on to the clean and jerks. Uh, clean and jerks were quite strong. Again, you can see in the jerk, it's a little bit cranking my shoulders forward a little bit in the catch. Uh, cleans were not too bad. I think I was over pulling just a little bit. I could have been getting under a little bit more promptly, I think. But not so bad all the same. Uh, one of the issues in my jerk at the moment, technically, is my hips are coming forward and kind of under my uh, under my upper body, which is kind of pushing the bar forward from... The vertical so it's sending the bar over my made foot to toes whereas i should be sending my hips backwards but you keep the bar closer to my heels and keep more of a vertical bar pad so it's not too bad on the lighter weights and it's something i've been working on and on the prior working days for my clean and jerk it was a lot better but today i think when i was a little bit not as um not as fresh as I sh could have been or should have been. I kind of reverted to the old habits on the heavier weights. And my hips kind of curl underneath me. My pelvis tucks a little bit. So instead of the bar, instead of my hips staying back behind the vertical. And then the bar going straight down. My hips kind of come forward. And then it sends the bar forward as well. And my dip. So you can see if you're watching the heavy weights. My heels are kind of coming off the ground as I'm dipping. And obviously I'm losing a lot of power. And I'm not using my legs to their full potential in the jerk. Which is obviously not ideal. So I think this 140 is not too bad. Again over pulling a little bit. So I'm kind of pulling too early. And then I'm pulling too long uh, on the way up. 150 now. So yeah not so bad. 150 wasn't too bad. Again could be a lot more active. And pulling under the bar. Jerk wasn't too bad. So you can see my shoulders, I was kind of feeling a little bit and I'm kind of cranking my shoulders back a little bit. 160 was better. Still over pulled a little bit, kind of catching it a little bit too high, riding down and standing up for no reason. Jerk wasn't so bad, but again, a little bit forward. Here we have 170 now. I actually think 170 was the best of the cleaning jerks. So nice pull, a little bit faster under. See, if you watch my right heel, you can see it's coming up a little bit early, but not so bad. Here we have 175. So this clean was not great. I pulled too early. Actually, well, looking at it now, it's not too bad. But when I did it, there was a lot. It felt like there was a lot of bar crash. But again, it's a, it's an improvement. I feel uh, I nearly passed out, and I did not jerk it. So overall, not so bad. Moving on to the back squats. So as you know, I haven't done a whole lot of back. Well, I haven't done any back squats in about four months. So I only started again about two, three weeks ago. I just kind of concentrated on the lifts, my snatch. Clean and jerk, and then I just maintain my front squat around 200 kilos for singles most days. But it was time, I think, to add back in and produce a little bit more leg strength. So I've gotten massively improved my technique in both lifts, I think, in some ways. So it's time to push the strength a little bit. So 
without power uh, or sorry without strength it could be no power and you need the heavier weights from the back squat so i worked up to this is 230 kilos by two uh obviously as well if you've been following the instagram i ditched my knee sleeves just for just to see and to be honest i actually feels a lot better my positions feel a little bit nicer i feel like i've still great pop in the back squat and obviously this is early days my build up in the back squat so i'm quite happy so build up to 230 by two i had 220 by three last weekend i was kind of hoping for 230 by three today or 220 by two but i kind of after the snatch clean and jerk i was pretty happy with the 230 for a double then i just jump drop down sets 210 back down to 170 just get some extra volume without massively fatiguing myself with heavier weights and then finally obviously part of um pushing your strength involves a deadlift too especially clean deadlifts for me so i worked up to 210 just did a couple of sets of three um So the first set was a little bit so with these i don't warm up there's no point wasting time at lighter weights so i just put literally even straight to 210 i added in some pauses at these just a little bit at the knees just to um a little bit of variation but also push them a little bit so i did ended up doing maybe five to six sets of three two or three sets of 210 and this is 220 for the last set so again i added first set nice and normal now really happy to speed on these technique is quite good similar to the clean pause of the knee straight into it and then the last rep so not a bad day's training session hope you enjoy